Hello everyone. So I am Pratik. Uh, I am Pratik Tyagi, and uh, I will be discussing some 30 days plan or strategy or uh, the things we should do uh, to prepare for our design trainee 2021, uh, typically for aeronautical and aerospace engineering. So uh, I'll give a brief introduction about uh, the HAL exam. Uh, what are the important points to keep in mind, and then we'll move on to the uh, preparation plan. So as uh, most of you already know that uh, this is uh, the post for aerospace and aeronautical people is only in design trainee. We are not into management trainee program and uh, the total number of seats uh, are 60 and you can see the breakage. So all these things I assume that you must have seen in the advertisement and uh, you already know these things. So I'll move a bit fast in this. Eligibility criteria, I'll simply say you're, uh, you can be in fourth year, you can be passed out, uh, but your age should be less than 28. This is typically for general and ES category. For like OBC, you have a three-year relaxation. And then for SAST, you have five-year relaxation. For uh, physically handicapped people, you have a 10-year relaxation. So you can go all these things uh, on the official HAL website. You can see the eligibility criteria. But the major thing is, Third year people cannot appear, only final year as well as passed out student with some uh, age limit can appear for the exam. Okay. Uh, another uh, important thing to keep in mind, still you can fill the forms. The forms uh, will be available till uh, 5th of uh, April. Uh, you have your exam next month on 24th and 25th. So you have exactly one month from today from 24th uh, of March, you have exact one month to prepare for the strategy and that's what we're going to see. Then you have results and interview and all these things. So you can just quickly uh, see all the important dates mentioned here, all right? Now I'm coming to the major part, which, the, which is the intent of this particular lecture. So uh, the selection process is in broad way has two portions. One is your uh, entrance exam, which we are preparing for 24th and 25th. Uh, for which we have one month and then you have an interview process. So I'll quickly explain both and then we'll move on to the technical and the uh, numerical aspect. So your exam will be for 150 minutes, that is uh, for one and a half hour and you will have 160 questions. So one thing for sure, it's very, very simple, straightforward exam. You should stick to the basics. You cannot afford to have numericals like uh, GATE standard or IEA standard. It is very, very simple, straightforward. And ideally speaking, in you will be solving these 160 questions in 100 minutes, actually. Uh, you will not spend much time in this. If you know the things, numericals are very, very easy. Uh, it consists basically of three parts. Uh, first 20 questions or uh, 20 questions are from journal awareness. We'll, I'll discuss all these things in detail in the next slide. Then you have 40 questions from basically general aptitude, which is basically English and reasoning part. And then you have aerospace core 100 questions from technical uh, things. Once you are done with the written part, if when you are selected uh, uh, in the interview process, they'll be usually calling around 300 people because you have 60 seats. So they will call uh, five times more number of people. So 300 people and out of this 360 people will be selected for the job. Uh, important to notice your online exam is of 85% weightage. So this portion is important and 50% is an interview. So keep one thing in mind, interview process will not have much of the technical things. They will not ask you to write equations and um, like derive things and all. It's more of an HR. They want to see your approach to a problem. They want to see a positive, positive attitude. So it is less of technical. Your technical part will majorly be over till the uh, online test exam only. Now, uh, as part of the preparation, this is what we have prepared and we have divided everything into 30 days. So this is just to give a quick overview, like all your technical subjects, general aptitude, general awareness is divided in these 30 days. Uh, this is the plan what uh, we have done for our batch. You should not restrict yourself, but this is how we're going to do in one month batch of uh, HAL uh, under Goodwill Gate to IIT. So we have divided uh, six aptitude classes. We'll try to cover most of the portions and the numericals in this. Then we have two sessions on general awareness, 
Along with it, we'll have some 10, 15, 20 or half an hour session on space mechanics. Uh, basically Kepler's law and all. So technically we're not going to do uh, in this lecture. Then what we have, uh, if you see, uh, I've tried to follow the color coding. If you see strength of material and aircraft structures. So we have given six days to these. So we'll stick to the basics. Like uh, you cannot solve complete or read complete structures in six days, 100%. But the intent is, uh, I'll give you a simple example. Uh, you're not going to solve a channel se session for shear flow and shear center. But what you should revise and what you should learn now is um, what are the properties of shear center? What are properties of shear flow? Where is shear center lying for a C section, uh, for a C channel cross section? Where it lies for a I section? What are the properties of single doubly symmetric? Similarly, what are different kind of theory of failure? So we should focus definitely more on strength of materials. You should be very, very much clear with the basics. Very simple, straightforward one mark question. One mark question as in like easy standard numericals can also be asked, but it is more of conceptual and uh, theory question. Uh, similarly, if you see, uh, uh, I have given thermodynamics here two days and three days for propulsion. So we are giving five days for this part. You can see fluid mechanics, fluid mechanics and aerodynamics. So we have given five days again for fluid mechanics and uh, performance. If you see aircraft and stability control, we have given four days. So it can go one or two days here and there. And if you see maths, usually uh, maths questions are not directly asked in the exams, but the portion of maths, what we need is for solving your core subject, technical subjects or your aptitude part. So quick uh, update like probability, uh, some numericals and understanding vector calculus so that you are uh, good in your aerodynamics, Navier-Stokes equations in your structures. Laplace equations, all these things. So very, very basic thing you will learn in this, like what is the order degree of a differential equation and all this very, very basic stuff. This is what we are planning for 30 days in our uh, one month patch for HAL design trainee. And this is what we're going to follow for the entire month. Um, respective faculties will come on their particular day and will each faculty will handle each subject depending upon their uh, command and then we'll move forward with the patch. Now, just quick, uh, one thing I want to give, let's say people say what we need to understand or what we need to read in general awareness. So keep one thing in mind in general awareness, people will not going to ask uh, who is the prime minister, president, or who won Australian Open, German Open. These things will not come in your exams. They will stick to what they need. So it will be more of uh, I'll give you PSU related questions. So when we say PLS, PSU related questions, I'll give you a simple example. Uh, what are Maharatna companies? What list of Maharatna companies come into picture? So an important thing is Maharatna companies in India are like NTPC, ONGC, Bale, or HPCL. All these are Maharatna companies. What they do, what are their turnovers? Uh, these things are important. Uh, when I say PSU related questions, Similarly, there are Navratna companies. Now, HAL is one of the Navratna companies. So this is an important thing to learn and remember. So you have many other companies like Bell, Nalco, MTNL, HAL. All these are Navratna companies. When they are established, uh, what they do, what are their turnovers, they report to whom. All these things are basically general awareness for us. Then you can uh, definitely see what uh, HAL is doing what all aircraft they have, like what is uh, Tejas, uh, you can talk about different helicopters they have, Dhruv, Rudra, what kind of uh, artillery we have, what kind of engines they have, when it is established, who is controlling it, definitely history of HAL you should know, please uh, focus into that, so you should read specifically about HAL, you should specifically read about um, Maharatna companies, you should definitely read about Navratna companies. All these things are important. You can talk about defense. So see what all aircraft Indian Air Force uh, has, uh, what kind of aircraft, how many Rafale and what is the engine used in them. All these things are definitely, definitely important. HL Tejas is what they are having. Uh, Mirage, they are having MiG-27, Sukhoi, Dassault, uh, Rafale, now you recently added. So all these things you should know 
in a bit that means you should focus more on a crafts what we have specifically and then uh, very very crude way but maybe still i can say this what are different kind of airlines present in india who owns them and that to other countries so a typical example is um, let's say what is uh, cathay airlines who owns this where it is i'm not answering this but you can simply google this part same thing in general aptitude i'm not specifying specifying that you please go read a gk publication you solve rs agarwal rk rk ban so don't do that uh stick to the basics just try to practice more of the numericals just brush up your uh, concept because numericals are very straight forward no one will going to ask a numerical which will take one minute also so stick very much to the basics technical i have already shown you that uh we will be following this uh, you should also follow these kind of uh things only in your mind uh as the part of a batch uh we already have a handbook which is being sent to all the students in a hard copy so this will sum up everything what is related to your technical aspects and all these general awareness and aptitude notes will be shared uh, in the batch itself and we will be discussing this test will be performed and we will be tracking all the uh, progress made so this is what a very very rough idea the reason of framing this was just to have an idea like how we can actually prepare this in one month most of you have already appeared for gate exam so you people are already prepared for this the only thing we need to do is you just need to quickly revise these things this is as simple as that so this is what uh, the plan is we are starting batch uh, tomorrow which is 25th march and there are few details about this if you need anything you can simply call or um, whatsapp or anything uh, you can get this and we can discuss all the details i hope this video will make sense and help you in slight form uh, in your preparation you can at least make up your mind like what to do and how to do uh, anything apart from this if it is needed you have any specific doubt you can definitely call us or whatsapp us or like in any mode you can uh, you can write an email you can go to the website and check you can talk to us uh, i hope it is known that we uh, as a good will get to iit i am saying we excel in aerospace courses uh, gate aerospace afcat now this hal exam like whatever in aerospace is happening we are uh, kind of excelling uh, in that particular in those courses so i hope this thing will also help and we'll see some good results uh, uh, after this exam all right so again uh, i am prateek thank you so much for your time i try to uh, wrap it up because i just have it uh, try to make it as uh, crisp and uh, better as possible all right so thank you so much guys uh, if you have anything please uh, write it on your comment session or please call or whatsapp us thank you so much guys